All right, with the engine and transmission test fitted, ready to go, chassis modified, now it's time to get to installing the aluminum panels. And here you can see one last picture of a bare chassis before I get to installing all the aluminum paneling. So let's get to the aluminum. Here we go. What you just saw was about six weeks worth of work to get uh, all the aluminum paneling done, or most of it anyway, done on the car. There's a few bits left, like the side pods that you'll see in a later video, but it's done. Next up was uh, cutting out some custom engine mounts so I could get the engine mount set up complete before I get too far on the chassis. And uh, you could see them completed here, ready to be welded. Uh, but I got a new tool in the shop. Uh, Langmuir 
plasma CNC table, really affordable unit, uh, two by two foot by two foot in size. Here you can see my plasma cutter. I actually used to work for Hypertherm back when I was in university. Uh, but anyways, I learned Fusion 360. This is AutoCAD tool, really, really slick for 3D printing, CNC work. Uh, and you here you can see the design of my engine mount plate. Here's the table set up and uh, with my Powermax 45 XP plasma cutter set up to the Langmuir table. Uh, cutting, I think this is quarter inch steel, maybe it's three eighths, can't remember. Uh, but here you can see it cutting out the plates. I could watch this all day. This is just the coolest thing to, to watch. So I had to cut two of these out, obviously one for each side of the car. That's it, just like butter. And here you can see it sitting in here, ready to be welded. So while I had the plasma table out set up, cutting the motor mounts, I figured I would cut out a transmission mount too. Here you can see the design, and again, designed in Fusion 360, pretty organic shape to uh, bolt right up to the OEM rubber isolator on the back of the transmission. And here's another video of cutting that out on the table. this up a little bit here this is at four times speed but again you'll see this in a later video once I get the transmission mount set up all coordinated and welded to the rear of the of the frame so that's that and uh, here's that plate bolted to the OEM rubber isolator that will then bolt to the transmission uh -huh. 